if, if you would force me, I would probably say, yes, I am from Munich. I love my, uh, that part of, of Upper Bavaria, but I not, would not necessarily call me German. But when I am in South America, in the little village where I was born, where my mother's family still has their coffee plantations, um, I feel like one, of, like one of them. And they look at me as one of them because I was born there and I speak the language and even the local accent. So um, it's a funny mix, you know. My grandfather, he used to, you know, to take me, he always would have taken me to the Bayerische Nationalmuseum to look at furniture and sculpture and works of art because, and textiles, because he was really a man um, who loved um, his textiles and works of art and furniture, and not so much the paintings, otherwise he would have done it. And I, as a little boy, I always wanted to go with him to the Pinacothek because I simply preferred to look at pictures. And, and I remember that, I mean, from the beginning I had this thing that uh, I went into the next, into the next big um, hall, into the next big room, and I would not go around and read the labels, but I would stand in the center of the room and, 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 would, and would guess, okay, now this must be Jacob Roystar. This is Salomon, this is Jan van Goyen, this is, you know. And then go around and then go there and read the labels and see if I was right. I, in a way, I still do it. <laughs> a great work of art has to be overwhelming the moment you look at it. Um, when you see it for the first time, you should be <gasps> standing in front of it and, and you just forget everything next to you. You just stand there and look at it. And, um, and you are fascinated by it. Then I would say it's a great piece of art. If you makes you forget the rest, I mean for this seconds, uh, if it makes you forget the rest of the world, you have to make your choice. You see, when I took over the, the old Bernheimer company in Munich, uh, which was, as you know, um, coming from the 19th century, so my great-grandfather started the business, so I'm the fourth generation. Um, I took it over, the old gallery, um, as a mixed antique dealer's uh, gallery. So there was furniture, there were tapestries, there was sculpture, there was everything. Um, interior decorating as well but there were no paintings. So in a way, I think you have to make your own choice. What is it what you really want to do? What is your very personal taste? What is your very personal choice? And then I think if you want to be good, you have to do what you think you can do best.